In this tutorial, we will take a look at how to control the SOM101 with a ROS2 joint state reader and then connect it to Isaac SIM for a real to SIM integration. I was able to demonstrate this in an NVIDIA live stream, so here's a quick explanation and a clip from the live session. So using the little robot library, I was able to teleoperate the follower arm on the left with the leader arm on the right. Mm -hmm. yes. So this is the, the follower arm. So basically I will teleoperate this and it will mimic the movement on the follower arm and also in Isaac Sim. Right now you also see my screen. So um, the real robot is moving. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> and I will try to grab it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love oh, how it oh. looks kind of like a bird trying to. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love the two camera views. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Hey! Oh, yes. <laughs> it's incredible. I can't get over how yeah. you whip this together. Holy Live cow. also. Okay, so let's take a look on how you can replicate it yourself. On my platform, lichiai-hub.com, you can look at the SORM Isaac Sim Isaac Lab project. When you scroll down, you can see the real to sim teleoperation with ROS2 and Isaac Sim. And yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we have some prerequisites. Of course, you need the SORM 101. You can buy it from an official vendor like Warrobo, who are providing my community with a 5% discount using the code LICHIAI5. Then you also need the Lil Robot library. You can find the installation here. There are some steps that you need to do, for example, cloning the repo, creating a conda environment, and build some tools. After that, you need to follow the Lil Robot SRM101 tutorial for the teleoperation. So here they give you instructions on how to set up your SRM101. You can skip a lot of these steps if you buy the already pre-made SORM101 kit. For example, the package 3, which is already assembled. You wouldn't have to worry about setting the motor IDs or bot rates. You could just quickly go to the calibration, which is also very important. So basically, you will have two arms. One is the leader and one the follower. And they need to be synced up, so you need to calibrate these. You also need Isaac Ross. You can find the Isaac Sim documentation page here, dated for the latest version. It is recommended to be on Linux, Ubuntu 22.04, and use ROS2 Humble. Next up, you need to have Isaac Sim. Uh, I'm running Isaac Sim 5.0, but you can also use the previous 4.5. I also have an installation guide here. And at last, you will see the repo, which has the ROS2 bridge for the hardware interface. This one will allow you to connect the real robot with ROS2. And finally, we will also see how to connect Isaac Sim with ROS2. Okay, so let's start with the step-by-step -step guide. First of all, after having the little robot teleoperation set up, we have to, of course, um, connect the SORM101 with the, with the power supply and also the USB ports. So right now I'm inside the little robot repository and I'm putting in the commands to give permission to access the USB ports. So next up, we will go into the repository. I'm already inside and you have to replace it with your own. Activate the conda environment, which you will create by following the um, installation instructions. And then finally launch the teleoperation script. We will teleoperate the follower with the leader. So it's a real-to-real -real teleoperation. And if you haven't completed the configuration steps, you will probably have to do it by now. So my script is running at um, 60 hertz and I'm able to teleoperate the real robot with the leader arm. So I will open another terminal and here I would clone the ROS2 workspace. In my case, it's inside the little robot repository. I will go into the directory and here we have to call and build and install. Afterwards, we can launch the joint state reader script. The script has failed because I don't have NumPy. That's because I use the conda environment from little robot. So after activating it, we can launch the joint state reader. So this one will take some seconds and then it should show that it is reading six out of six servers successfully. So instead this workspace, we have under source the joint state reader. I will quickly go over this one. So here we are creating a publisher. We are defining the joint names. These are identical with the URDF that we imported into Isaac Sim. We are connecting it to the hardware, reading at 20 hertz. So this is the function to connect, and then we can read the server positions. And these numbers are defined by the manufacturer. Then we do some calculations to radians. And finally, we have the read and publisher. 
we also have the ICXM USD stage. Now we are going to open a third terminal. Inside this terminal, we will run the relay gross two topic. This will put a relay between joint states, which is getting published by the joint state reader into the ISAC joint command, which is set up in the ISAC sim ROS2 action graph. So the names are just matching. Okay, and finally, we can open a, another terminal. Technically, we could verify if these are working here right now with these commands, but um, I will skip this part and open ISAC sim. So to open ISAC sim 5.0, we need to clone the repository and follow the instructions. And then we can launch this command by opening the ISAC sim.shell script in the release folder. So after some loading, this will launch the ISAXM 5.0, which is also now open source. When we're going to file, we can then open our USD stage located under the LibreBot repository inside my ROS2 workspace and under the folder ISAXM USD. Inside, um, if you see this camera, you can just go under the I, show by type and disable the camera here. This will probably not be the case for you unless you activated it. And inside here, we have the SORM 101, which was imported by a URDF file. Then we have the action graph in here. The action graph was created by tools, robotics, ROS2 Omnigraphs, and joint states. I will quickly show how it looks like. So in here, we can give a node namespace, but we don't have to. We specify the articulation root. In our case, it was base. And then all I did was to hit these two toggles and write Isaac in front. So writing Isaac in front um, is not needed. And then we also wouldn't need the relay, but I just wanted to do it to kind of separate these from each other. And when I press OK, it will generate the same action graph. Yeah, once I press play, it will start. So right now it goes into the position of my real robot. And I will now move it. And as you can see, I can grab the litchi and put it into the jar. If you have found the tutorial helpful, then subscribing, liking, and commenting really helps a lot. I also want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. You are making these tutorials possible and enable me to help the community. So thank you.